winter is coming. You guys watch out, winter is coming! Ah! Hello, I am winter. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. Yeah. <laughs> Say it. My hand. Say it. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. <laughs> Winter is coming. Any boss. What is up, all you sexy nerds? I am Wildfire One. You are listening and watching Nerds the New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. And who is sniffling next to me, you ask? This is... Baby Girl Doom. Ah, you finally get to meet her. Run! Run while you can! <laughs> I'm not that bad. <sighs> well, you know, you can be. You guys keep playing with me, so... Yeah, video, you know, yeah the video games. First and foremost, we're talking again about Game of Thrones. This is uh, Season 6, Episode 115, Part 2. Dos, for those of you. Uh, who are just tuning in. If you are just tuning in, go to the first episode and watch that, <laughs> and then go to this one. Baby Girl Doom, tell us a little bit about yourself. And, uh, oh, God. Because we always do the nerd cred thing when we're introducing someone new. Oh, I do everything from comics to games. And those, for those of you that, were, that, that you don't know, she's she was nervous all day about to this. Like, like Grizzly, <laughs> Grizzly couldn't make it today, and it was supposed to be the three of us. And she's like, oh my god, it's going to be me. I have to talk more. So that makes it that much more fun for me. Like, uh, this whole time, yeah. I'm going to torment her. This is, so oh, you probably are. Nerd cred, come on. Oh, hey, I do cosplay. I play video games all the time. I watch comics. I watch YouTube videos. What kind of I games do you like to play? Elder Scrolls Online. Okay, go on. I got this auto. Um, you guys are making me play scary games <laughs> like Death by daylight which i cannot stand. death by daylight death by daylight i think isn't dead it? by daylight dead dead by yeah dead by daylight and was an avid wow player okay you're for you she was years. for a was. long time so if we for do a, a wow time. world of warcraft episode i'll probably have you on i'll just sit there probably not knowing what i'm talking about because i've never played the game just you know picking my nose going no but I'll, I'll put well, in my okay. occasional funny shit at the time. Anyway, but that's that's another time. So, more nerd cred. I usually ask, we, we used to do interviews on here all the time to women. How about this? What do you think makes a nerd sexy? Oh, boy. Wow. Oh, um, the big questions. I brought out the big <laughs> ones. Go on. I don't know. It's just, you know, liking the same thing. You know, it's hard to find guys and girls that like the same things together. Well, what, what is attractive about a nerd to you as a female? The gaming aspect of it. And I don't know, just... You're like a man that can push the buttons. <laughs> Control the buttons. Control the buttons. <laughs> Woo! We went into a whole new world. Nerd is the new domination? <laughs> Entertainment? No. No? Okay, I'm just making no. sure. <laughs> Dominatrix, <laughs> maybe? Dom maybe. No. I'll just change the opening. And put a whip in there. Okay, You're we'll one of the people that got me and Grizz into Game of Thrones. Like I, I we talked about the two people in the first podcast. One was uh was brought my buddy Broader Minds and uh, of course you. So before we get too far into the plot and continue on, what are your feelings on, on Game of Thrones? Overall, it's it's awesome. I'm upset that they have actually stopped. Did you read the book? Making, No, I don't I, read. You're like me. I'm not a reader. I'm not a reader. It takes too long. I could rather watch the movie, get the gist of it. Books go into more detail where movies I know leave out. My sister's a big bookworm, so... Oh, you know what? I bet you the books are amazing. I just... I just yeah. You're, you're sad that the series is done. Done, um, yeah. Somebody needs to pick it up and... and Netflix, we're going. looking at you. <laughs> you know, it's... Get on it's the ball. It's gone. Game of Thrones, the after years. <laughs> <laughs> and then they were. And then it happened. Thank you, Nerds the New Sexy Entertainment. So anyway, okay, so you're a fan. Would you say you're a big fan, like, of the show? 
I want to say a big fan that probably needs to sit down and rewatch it from season one for him. I think, see, it's funny when you when you uh, helped me watch the seasons, the show. You weren't yeah. you rewatching it too? So I watched seven and eight. I had to re- I rewatched seven. Oh, okay. I should have rewatched when I gave it to you guys. I should have been watching it um, the same time. So. Yeah. What so is your favorite season lost. so far before we get into this? Oh, God. I can't. There's so many. I don't even think I do it by seasons. Cause so the, just, like just the so whole many. series. You like the whole series. I do. There's like in each season, though. I mean, there's like these like little like little plots that, you know, have favorite to character. Sure, we'll Aria. <laughs> of course, Aria the Explorer. Aria yeah. the Explorer. She's a badass. Who would you say Grizzly would be in the, the Game of Thrones world? I'm asking all these <laughs> random questions. And since Grizzly's not here, we can pick oh, on him a little bit. Oh, we can pick on Grizzly. We'd pick on him anyway, but go on. Oh, God. Don't kill me, Grizz, when you watch this. Please don't. But you're going to anyways. I want to say kind of Sam. I was going to say Sam. <laughs> But don't you know what, kill Sam? Me, I swear I but you know what? You can't give. Sam's you can't. A good you can't guy, down though. Sam. You can't be bash Sam? on Sam. Without Sam, Sam the character. damn story wouldn't have gone like gone anywhere. Like people wouldn't have been saved. Stuff still wouldn't have happened. Like the, he was like the bookworm. Uh, he was the smart one. He becomes a magister. One, but, yeah, I mean, it'd have to be Sam. Yeah, and that that I agree. Grizzly. Sam, sorry. Oh, Sam. It's been spoke. It's been said. Yeah, and I but think his wife's name was Griddle, Gr- Grundle, Grundle, Grundle? Uh, whatever, whatever that that wildling. It was, uh, yeah, no, it was weird. It was like Grundle or father something. Fucker father fucker was. <laughs> we ended last the last podcast because I mean <laughs> a little early. We I think we stopped more or less, and we mentioned other aspects, but we stopped about season one, and we had to stop yes. because there was a small fire outside of Grizzly's house. So, uh, Whatever happened to that? Do you know? No one got hurt. It got put out. Like I asked Grizzly that night when we were playing. When we played, when we were playing ESO, <laughs> he told us that night. He said that everything was fine. Like they they put it out. So yay! Yay! No fire. We stopped on season one where um, where uh, Daenerys had uh, given birth to her dragons, more or less, after stepping out of the fire, and everyone like blew their load. I mean, I remember, I remember seeing that episode, and I was like, "Holy shit!" Like, she fucking finally, bad. she was a badass. But though. this is this is when I came into the series, and you tell me what you think. I when I didn't know nothing about Game of Thrones before I started watching it, and in my yeah, head, you told me that. yeah, and in my head, I thought that like, because and I get it now, like, because I remember everyone was making fun of it because there was like there was there was promising they were promising something big coming. And I get it now. It's winter's coming. I get it now. I get that. Winter's coming. <laughs> you get that's that? that's why we do the joke at the beginning of the, the podcast. But, yeah. but I mean, like, I, in my head at the time, it was like, oh, the dragons are coming. The dragons are coming. And that's what I thought was happening. That's what ah. I thought was. But and so when I saw the dragons in the the end of season one, I'm like, wait a second, fuck, I was wrong. Like, so that was my own. It's that was my just own ignorance. Beginning. Oh, yeah. that was just the beginning. The dragons. Yeah. That was my own ignorance, so I, yeah. I had no idea, and I was glad to watch it and kind of get that fixed. And I get the whole now again. Now I get the whole winter's coming. Like it's coming, guys. It'll be here any minute. It'll be here any minute now, guys. Uh, Three you know, months, eight from now. seasons later. I well, said, yeah, it, I mean, I think it was over a couple. Of years. But that's what I didn't understand. It was like over a couple of years. Did, did you realize that? Like, Arya kind of grew up. They all kind of. Grew well, they, they did. Well, I think that I think that Grizz even said the gal who played Arya was like ten or eight or something like that in the, I mean, the first season, and she was sixteen about the time it ended. So yeah, as I'm saying, you got to think it was over ten, almost. I want to, I want to say almost. Like it took them forever to put out the season. They got yeah. Well, and then on top of that, it's HBO. HBO takes their time. Like they they'll skip yeah. a year. They'll they'll be like, oh fuck you guys, we're gonna skip a oh, year. Oh, they skipped a couple of years with Game of Thrones. I hated I that know. with The Sopranos. Fuck you, HBO. Well, yeah. that's why I'm not so fresh. It's been almost oh, a couple of years since I've seen these. Well, and that's one of the things I frust- that, that frustrates me, which is why HBO Go is good and, like, Netflix is good, in my opinion, and Hulu and all that shit. Because you can just sit down and binge watch it. Oh, yeah. Then at the end of the series, like, you know, uh, you're just like, fuck. 
I must kill the White Walkers. You know, walking out of the house, going, I'm going to work, and I'm like, White Walkers, it's July and shit. Right. You know who <laughs> killed the first White Walker? Uh, Sam, wasn't it? It was Sam. Even though he did it completely, like, he forced gumped his way through it. Like, he, <laughs> oops, I killed a White Walker. He, it wasn't because of his he fighting skill. It. I mean, not talking shit. I love Sam as a character. He can't fight. Every, every good, like, medieval-style story has at least one good Sam in it. It does. So he started off with that ending of the first season. I think the second season's more on, like, almost that war of the, what, three kingdoms? Four kingdoms? <laughs> I'll call him Jorge. Rob. Rob, there we go. Jorge. Jorge Stark. <laughs> That's his name now. Rob Stark is now known as Jorge. Uh, so Rob Stark, Rob Stark goes he goes to war. But uh, it seems like there's a lot of war going on. Like you have you have the two Baratheon oh. families that go at it and one of them dies because of the, the birth I think that we talked about. That's another plot point right there. Sansa was promised to Joffrey, okay? And then out of nowhere comes this... Marjorie Tyrell. Marjorie Tyrell, out of nowhere, showing her fucking body her off. Yeah, showing her body off. And going, she's Look very at me. conniving. They play the, the game. The Tyrell girl is very manipulative. She, well, Cersei kept trying knows. to warn Joffrey. Like, look yeah, out for she's her. Like, she's very... I want to say devious. Well, devious... Everything devious but i think she also had a good heart you know compared to some of the others oh yeah definitely you know? had a good heart i mean she looked after the poor yeah she she and did she did well for the most part as far as like being a good person but no yeah, she just <laughs> but she played the game and she knew how to play the game oh yeah so she stood up with i mean just basically in a sl slinky dress like you can see almost everything everything and um offers herself hey you know you can marry me instead of uh, Sansa, right? Is that the name? Did I got it right this time? Sansa, yep, Sansa. he did. Okay. You can he marry me know. instead of Sansa. And of course, Joffrey's like, ooh, he's like, I fucking are like, I don't know, I'm promised. And she stands up and her shit's like jiggling and he's like, okay, bling! And then he's, she's gone. Like, uh, sorry, sorry, Sansa, I'm not gonna marry you no more. And again, right, but she, she walks was, out. Sansa didn't seem to like ever like care that she wasn't well, she wanted to marry Joffrey so bad in season one. I know. It was, she wanted it was crazy, to like she like it was dumb how bad she like she even forsook her family for that dude. Like oh, yeah. until her dad got his head chopped off, and then By she dead. saw how fucking crazy he was. Like, and I think the Lannisters is the one that chopped his head off, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Well, it was Joffrey when he became king. Yeah, Joffrey killed his. Because even dad. even uh, Cersei was gonna be like, okay, yeah, we'll let him free. Because it surprised her when he's like, oh, you know what? No, off with his fucking head. Off with his head. And it was and bad. And stuck in on those awesome... And then, and then, he, and then Joffrey had to awesome show stuff. her. Joff, Joffrey had to show her her own dad's head on a fucking spike. On top of that, not only was her dad's head there, her fucking handmaiden and everyone she cared about was on well, those yeah, you fucking gotta, spikes. You remember, Joffrey's a Lannister. Okay. The He's Lannisters? the worst one. But wait, there. I don't know if you can really say that he's the worst one because if you break them all down, they're all pretty fucked up. The the least I, worst one it. is about it. is Tyrion. I want to say the Tyrion? daughter. The, he's the, at least he okay. wanted to do the right thing. She, the daughter, the the youngest daughter, she just she just went along with whatever the fuck went. And we'll get to that. But my point is, is that is that he he at least did something plot wise. He tried stuff. He tried to do the True. right thing. He, and, he did. And and the one that maybe is closest to him as far as that goes, Jamie. Because Jamie had a good heart, too. He was just mind-fucked by his sister. Just, yeah, I was going to say, he was, like, under this, like, evil. And I don't, I wouldn't put it past her if for some reason, and, you know, please tell me I'm right, whoever reads books, that, like, she might have put a spell on him. I mean, look what she did. Come on. Look what she did to the mountain. I, I don't know, I, but the mountain was more, the mountain was more like science. Uh, if I know, you think about but it. I mean, could you? And it could wasn't you her that did imagine? it. It was that fucking idiot magister that got kicked out. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, they but were I, like, I don't think there was a spell. I think that I just think that there she. There was something. There were no love makes people do stupid shit. <laughs> they were. 
They were they they had two types of love. They had sibling love and they I mean, had they, love love and they were that, they were further than sibling love. They were That's what I'm saying and they had love love then they wow. cared about each other a lot more more than siblings should. <laughs> Way more. And that made them cuckoo. All their kids came from them, not her yes, husband. Yes, exactly. Like I was saying, Sansa was was getting out of there. She's beating feet thinking she was free of this guy, Joffrey. And she's happy. She's got this big-ass smile. You didn't see smile. her smile like that since, like, I, a long, like a long time in the oh, show. Oh, yeah, like from the beginning. Yeah. Probably and she's, from the beginning. Like when she was looking at him with fucking heart-shaped eyes, you know, in the first yeah. season. But she's she's walking out thinking she's got free. And then, like, I think, I like I said, I believe it was the, uh, I believe it was Littlefinger. Who walked up to her and was like, ha, 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 "No, he's gonna fucking toy with you." Oh yeah, no, you're it's... you're now his pet. You're not. You don't think he's gonna get tired of her and want to fuck you later on? Oh yeah, that's gonna happen. Be oh, afraid. Oh yeah, no. Joffrey's Joffrey's very. It's like his mother. <laughs> Joffrey has all the worst parts of his mother. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And he's, none he's of the definitely... best parts of of Jamie. Like, I think it, I think the youngest daughter was probably and the youngest son. Well, you was don't probably you know more what, Jamie than 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 Cersei. You don't really know who she was. Like they didn't even. Yeah, you, that's what I mean. You never really got to meet her. Like no, you never got to really meet her. You saw her five seconds was. of her. You knew who her parents were, and then she got yeah. sent away. She was she was poisoned. Oh yeah, she was the poisoned by yeah. that bitch that that, that old bitch. yeah that was the lover of the guy who got killed by the mountain. But we're getting yeah. ahead of ourselves. Uh, that's way, yes. way out there. Way so, ahead of yourself. I mean, there's a lot of shit that happens. There is. Arya I mean, basically was with those, um, the Brotherhood. She ran into the Brotherhood of um, without banners, that one group. Oh, yes. With and her, that's, that's where we actually her, like, get to see more about the, we get to first meet the sun god worshippers, right? Like, yeah. The I think, fire well, god, the fire, brother, I forget, I forget what it's called. Brotherhood without banners. Yeah. Watchers. You know, that's when well, she runs in. Jon Snow gave her Snow. needle. And yes. that's a big plot point we need to talk about. That that she that the needle's her sword. Her sword she was always kind of like the tomboy. Her sword. <laughs> hey, it was big enough for her and needle. she kicked ass with that thing. Well no, she did. I was gonna say she really kicked ass with needle. needle After a while. Her, like, best, so best friends. Jon Snow gave her needle. That's one plot point that we missed in the first season, I believe, before Jon Snow went to the to the Night's Watch. Okay, this is what happens to Arya. Arya Stark ends up going with her dance instructor, who's a badass. Like he dies. I'm, I'm assuming. I really, you don't see him die, so I thought he'd come back. Um, <laughs> she's with her dance instructor, who's basically her sword instructor. They say dance instructor because she's a lady and she has to do what ladies do. Fencing. Fencing, yeah. So mm-hmm. they're they're fighting. Or they're they're training. And one of the things he always told her was. What do you yeah, what do you say today. to death? Not today. So, <laughs> and that's really what he says. Last thing he says to her, as they're as they're they're storming, you know, the whole Stark stronghold. You know, it, I don't think it was I don't think it was Winterhold or what, Winterheld or whatever the fuck the place they're at. Uh, I think th- this was in King's Landing. This is where they were at in King's Landing. Yeah, if I'm, if I'm wrong, guys, let us know. But uh, they're they're storming that area, and the and the guy, the fencing guy, he's fighting with just a fucking stick. And he's, he's literally, her instructor is literally giving her time to leave. And, I mean, you can only assume he died. You never really get to see him later on, and, and you never see him at all after that. And so she's on the run. They never found Arya Stark. What happens is as she's fleeing after seeing her dad get her get his head cut off, uh, some one of the guys from the Night's Watch grabs her and basically saves her ass. Yeah, and no, I remember that. He says, you're no I... longer Arya Stark. You're, nah, gives her a name. Yeah, and I can't remember what her name was. And says, this then. is who you are. You're a little boy now. Yeah. Cut her hair. That's when she cut her hair yeah. off. And, yep, and you're a little boy now. And she was hanging out with, with that guy. With, with, the, with, with, the, Bra- the, with the bastard Baratheon son. And then, uh, yeah, but there was this other guy. I want to say he cooked. Yeah, it was. It was the fat, uh, the fat he, kid. The, the fat kid. And I don't mean. Like, I, that's the only way I know him, guys. I'm not. I'm not. I'm a big dude too. So. I don't, like that's all I. That's how I know him. He's the fat cook. And you know what's funny is I tried to look him up, actually look his character up, and I can't find anything on it. Was a good. His character was actually pretty good for how like minute he was in the story. Like. He, he was. He, he cooked bread, wasn't it? Bread or well, something. Oh, was bread. He was a, just a damn cook. He ended up being like the best cook at that fucking tavern. Yeah, and he yeah. stayed working there. Or, <clears throat> I, he ended up making a life, I guess. I, uh, well, as far as we know, it was his life. Hopefully, the fucking White Walkers didn't get his ass. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, I mean, it's what we've heard. 
you know... Game of Thrones, the after years. Let us know. Snow. <laughs> we want to know what happened to that fucker. You know, like, come on. Did he live? Did he like, live? Is he? Does he got a family? Is, does he got a little bread name? maker? What's his fucking name? And then, so that's how she ends up there, okay? And then what happens is they get... They, they're looking for the young Baratheon. Because at one point, the, the mom... I think it was the mom, uh, Cersei, gave order to kill all the Baratheon bastards. And there's a horrible scene where they're killing children, babies. They took oh, a yeah, baby babies. from the mom and fucking killed it. And it was bad. Like, HBO gives no fucks. Like, they wanted to blow your mind, and they did. It was very well done. Like I said, they're looking for the Baratheon bastard, who is the, um, the blacksmith. She... And she ends up pointing at some dude who's an asshole, like some blonde kid. I remember oh, this. Oh, yeah. She ends up pointing at some dude who's an asshole, and they just... And the guy, and the guy that, that's in charge of, like, looking for the Baratheon, you know, from the King's Watch, ends up taking Needle and stabbing the dude in the neck and says something. I can't remember. It was, like, something she said I, to him yeah. when she killed him. What he said, because and it was... that's where she had that coin, too. She ended up getting a coin. Well, she got the coin, and she got the coin later on when she went to King's Landing, because she met that, uh, that faceless... Well, no, it was when... God guy. No, well, it no, wasn't this was bef- it was It was before, wasn't it? I'll tell you right now, she because that's where she first met him. Because they were going to burn to death. Her, him, and two other people were going to burn to death during that siege when they were okay, when they yeah. were taking it. And she saved. And he, she kept, he kept saying, you know, a boy or owes a girl a gratitude or you know whatever. And so he gave her later on when in King's Landing, he gave her the option of saying three names that he she that he'll kill for her. Like no fucks given, just straight up kill. He, that was right before they ran into the bro- She ran into the Brotherhood. Yes. What happens is she gives it. I'm not gonna get. I'll, you guys don't have to watch this part because the names. The name. The, this part's just too good. The names are. She gives like two names, and then finally, I think the third name. Uh, I think she gives the third name, and then there, there. No, no. The third. The third name wasn't a name. She wanted to escape, but I know she wanted to escape, and he helped her escape. And then as they're escaping, he, he tells he gives her the coin, and that's where this coin comes in, and says, "You say this, you give this to the peop- my people, like his." People, people from his land, land, and I can't remember what they who they were, for the life of me. There's so much lore in this damn show, like in the books, it, that <sighs> it's that it's hard to remember everything. But he it, says, so "And you say this, and I will be there." Almost, if you look at it, like almost in like the Morrowind status, it's almost like the, the Dark Brotherhood. That's exactly what yes. I look at it. No, as. it is. It, it is the Dark Brotherhood, and that's who she was running into, and. <clears throat> She becomes a badass. So he uh, there's a point where they, he's getting ready to leave, and he pull he like he pulls his face off. It doesn't show like it cuts away, and then he's like this older man. Like he looked a lot younger two seconds before. Before, yeah, yeah. It's it's crazy, and he was an old man. Yeah, he he was. It was, and it's also considered um, what is it? The God of No Face is also considered um, the God of Death. Yeah. And what do we say to death? Not today. Not today. So Not today. From that point, I can't remember where um, that because the hound. This is one of my favorite parts, and it's somewhere between in that same that same time frame, the hound basically says "fuck the queen," and "fuck Joffrey," because Joffrey's fucking nuts. Like he's obviously he's and the and the hound has always been really really uh, as far as I know up to the series at this point. He was loyal. He was like, I'll do what I need to do, even if it's bad. I can't remember what broke him, but he's just like, fuck. And those are his words. Fuck the queen. Fuck Joffrey. And fuck yeah, the king. that's when I think that's when he had the run in with the Brotherhood. But I can't remember, like, was he captured? Because I remember at one point well, he was captured. Was that's captured and that's what him? happens. They the brother. She's on her own. And she gets found by the, the the Brotherhood with no banners or the bannerless, whatever. Yeah, banner. Li- <laughs> <laughs> whatever those fuckers are. No, the Brotherhood of no banners. And uh, and this is where we kind of first start to see, like, I call it the sun god or, or the fire god or whatever have you. Like, the that religion in, in this series. And um, anyway, so they, they, they get together and and um, I think, I remember, if I remember correctly, they're in a tavern. Like her, they are and in a tavern. Her and her two compatriots. Uh, yeah. The 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 blacksmith, Baratheon, and, uh, and the, the fat cook. kid cook. 
that's where the kid stays. Yeah, and the kid ends up staying at the tavern. Well, what yeah, happens is they, they use that place. That's like, when the hound showed up. The hound recognized Well, they her. brought the hound in. They sent her. And she's like, yeah, oh, fuck. And and no, they didn't know who she was until he opened his fucking mouth. mouth. That's what I'm saying. He, like, snitched on them. They didn't know who she was. Because they were going to let him go. Just, you know, there were a bunch of kids out there wielding swords, you know, <sighs> fighting for their lives or whatever. They, they fed them, and they, they were, were asking questions. Yeah, they were, I remember there's a scene they're asking questions back and forth. They were getting, like, pretty well along. I mean. And that's what he that. says. He says, he said uh, something like, why do you have the Stark bitch here? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And it was funny because that's where the kid was learning how to cook. And that's when I found out, oh, this kid can actually cook. Yeah. You know. And well, that, that yeah, and, and that's where, that's when, they, when they're leaving is when there's that, like, because even, even the uh, Brathian, the Brathian blacksmith, yeah, he gets, blacksmith he, they give, they give him to the, the Red Witch. Yeah. Because remember, she appears there at one point. So there's, at, and we're going to fast forward to that part where they basically take, they take uh, Arya, and they're leaving. And the kid, the the cook kid, decides to stay, and he gives her this this uh, this bread. And then she's eating it as she's on the back of the horse. She's all, "It's good." <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah. the perfect goodbye, actually. Right? She's like, "It's good. Thanks for the food." I so they're they're taking, and she's pissed off. She's pissed off at the Brotherhood or whatever the Bannerless, whatever, because the they're taking because they basically sold. Banners. Yeah, the Brotherhood without banners. She's mad at them because they basically sold out the Baratheon blacksmith yeah. to you know to the the red witch more or less they i mean because he was gonna fight with them he was gonna join them he had no he had he was a rebel of the cause did you, did you realize how big of a character he was in that beginning yeah i knew he was gonna come back in fact i i was counting on them actually <laughs> trying to make him king i was very 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 like because uh, it was the war of the kings at one point you know with all with rob stark and the oh, Baratheon everybody. brothers, and even though Robert Baratheon basically said, "Hey, give this to my oldest heir when he's of age," until I mean, you're, then, you're pretty... until then, Ned Stark, you're the one in charge, and they didn't want to. They didn't want that. They didn't like that. When, when people across seas know that you're horrible, you're horrible. Well, not even that. <laughs> that's how the land is. Well, not even that. I think a lot of it was like, you know, because some of these people didn't even want the throne until it was time, until it just it. became yeah. free. Like, they, they thought there was a chance. So, you know, and no one no one really stood up against Robert Baratheon because he was he was placed there. He was, yeah, that was his you know? home. And then, so, and then all of a sudden, Robert Baratheon's dead, and you have his brothers are interested. I mean, Rob Stark really wasn't interested. I think he was more interested in avenging his father. Well, I mean, the Starks were big family-oriented. I mean, even Jon Snow fought. What's Bran the Broken doing? Bran the Broken in season two is basically... Because I think basically... he's, still, he's still in Winterhold, right? <clears throat> he's... Or Winter, um, whatever. I can't remember the name of that fucking place. Um, Winterfell. Winterfell. He's still in Winterfell. He's, he's in Winterfell. I'm thinking he, I'm um, thinking Elder Scrolls when I say Winterhold. His brother... <laughs> It is that yeah. yeah, that's where you're getting it from. Wonderful. Um, He's um, more or less in bed. I think he gets attacked by a. Um, um, at one point, he gets attacked by, and that that actually that's important because that that dagger becomes very important later on. Uh, he gets attacked by he, an assassin. Right, we gotta talk about what's his name betraying Rob Stark about when when. Brand the Broken left. That was why he left. Remember, sure Winterfeld was being Winterfeld was being taken over by. That that, I want to say the brother that wasn't a brother, the guy that the guy that they they took from another another country, is because he's doing it because he was supposed to go to his dad and beg for help for Rob Stark, and and his dad instead goes, no, you're gonna you're you be you're you're a part of our family. All of a sudden, because he gave him up when he was a kid, you're a part of our family. You need to you need to prove to us now that this is going on. We can we can plunder and take these this land for ourselves. The episode where. A little after he that got taken, you know they. That's, that's when Bran and, and the, the Wildling chick and Holdor and all. Yeah, and it, they it took was Holdor. They called him the Ragtag Group, but it was um, uh, the Wildling Osha. Uh huh. Bran the Broken. Uh, Bran the Broken. His youngest the giant, brother. The Hordor guy. Holdor. Hordor. Uh, Hordor. He hoard the door. He hoard the door. Okay. Brother. Uh, Rickson, yes. which I don't remember that character. Well, it's because he only, again, just like just like some of the other characters. Son. 
Yeah, it was like it was like the youngest Lannister sister. She she served a purpose, and that was it. And they're more or less yeah, in the dire wolves. And I mean, by this point in the first season, I think two dire wolves died. Our, Sansa's. And it Sansa's was Arya's. And the Arya's. Well, I take it back. Arya's didn't die. Arya's was let go. Remember? She let it go. Because what had happened was um, during that scuffle between... And we're going back to the season. We're going to um, go back and forth because the story is so good. Um, <laughs> because of the scuffle with with uh, Joffrey, the, the her, her dog attacked Joffrey. And... Oh, yeah, they were going to kill it. So and they she were going to kill it, so she set it free. free. Cersei demanded blood no matter what. So she goes, whoa, there's another dire wolf. So that happened. There's a little there's a little backtrack in there, but I can't remember his damn name. It's the guy with the Iron, the Iron Price family. Uh, they came in and basically took it over. And, you know, the funny thing is, is he was, his, his dad was treating him like shit, remember? Because, like, his sister yes. was more of a warrior than he was in his dad's eyes. So he wanted to prove himself by taking Winterfell. And that's what he did. He did it without, without even, you know, he's given this. That was the, the Grey Joy. You're talking about the Grey Joy. The Grey Joys. Thank you. I can't remember the fucking names. And it, it was, what was, <laughs> what was, what was, what was that character's name? He was the Grey Joy that was with the Starks was more or less, uh, yeah, he turned on. Them. Brand the Broken gets away, like we said. They start their own little, their own little, like, Lord of the Rings quest. Yeah, they, they don't know where the fuck they're going. They're just, and that's a sad thing because, uh, that particular Greyjoy, he wanted to fool everyone to thinking that he killed them. So he found like three or two random random children from like a nearby farm and burned oh, them yeah, to death. Oh yeah, burned them so to the, death. So for the longest time, we thought that the 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 youngest Starks were dead. That the only ones were left were, you know, Jon Snow and Rob Rob Stark. Salsa escaping. Salsa. Not salsa. Salsa. Santa. Sal- <laughs> Basically, escaped King's Landing. With Littlefinger, um, and I think that's pretty much where that went. Actually beaten by Joffrey in season two, but saved by the Hound. Oh, and that's what did it. That's why he said, fuck the queen. And he yeah. actually gave her the opportunity. Hey, come with us. Come with me. Yep. If you stay yep, here. Is, yeah. Susan's the Hound off the gate. She was supposed to go the Hound, and that's what she would have ran into his sister but she didn't leave she actually refuses to him exactly she escaped out of king's landing. she hadn't escaped out of king's landing. so she didn't leave king's landing she had a chance to leave she yeah. could have she could have left with the hound but unfortunately she said no which yeah. actually in my opinion was smart i don't know you think she was better off with Littlefinger, or she says she even says things? later on because he asked her do you regret not going with me or something along the lines. And she says, no, I don't, because I wouldn't be the person I am today. True, but I'm saying, what would you think would have probably been a better outcome? She might have been dead. Yeah, too. And Arya would not have become the badass that she was no, meant she to be if have. she would have met her sister. Because True. her sister would have be- piggybacked her ass all the way through the series, and nothing would have happened. Happened. <laughs> Arya was left un- unattended, is what I call it. And then she got to learn stuff, and no one was holding her hand anymore. Said I think she evolved more than any character on I th- there. I think she evolved maybe a little more than most of the characters, yes. But I think there was a lot of a lot of uh, characters that, like Jamie Lannister. I think he has probably the best redemption story of them all. Yeah, but yeah, his yeah. sister had her vagina fucking hair around his throat. He yeah, had. I the key. Yeah, he, she had, he, his, <laughs> like Cersei was all about the pea power. She had she he was uh, hypnotized. You know that 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 goes to their final demise, unfortunately, where shit goes bad. We get to meet the Red Lady or the Red Woman or the fucking witch, of like we talked about. We got to meet um, we got to meet the the banner of, of no of broken banners. I don't know if I, I forget what they're called, the broken bannered buttholes. <laughs> Broken banners. No, it's not broken. Well, I don't fucking know. There's so many. There's so much lore in this goddamn show that it's like even in the beginning they're trying to teach the kids this shit. Oh my god, brotherhood without banners. Brotherhood without banners. Me. You're killing me, HBO. After Winterheld, Winterfeld, Winter fucking hold, Winter hell, whatever the fuck you call it. 
Winterfell got Winterfell got captured, so they take it back. But anyway, guys, um, we're gonna go ahead and we'll continue this next episode on 115 part three. But <laughs> hashtag is that what you said? <laughs> Hashtag part four, baby. <laughs> uh, thanks for staying with us on this, guys. Uh, if, if you guys want us to touch base on anything on Game of Thrones, leave it down there. Because we're, we're we're just going off of memory. And I watched this thing about, maybe about, I finished it four or five weeks ago. Uh, if you guys want us to touch base on, you want us to know what, it, if you want to talk about our favorite characters and whatnot, we'll do that. But until uh, then, guys, we want you to stay nerdy. Stay sexy. Always.